Hi everyone, it's Akini. Um, so I'm doing I want to do this video about forgiveness and revenge. Um, I know this is gonna go over a lot of people's heads. A lot of people are gonna say I'm crazy. A lot of people are gonna come against what I'm saying because, um, you know what I'm saying goes against a lot of religious teachings. But you know, if you know what I know, if you've done the research that I've done, religion has often has always let me not say often. Religion has always been used to control people. So whatever um basically what i want to say is that i feel like revenge is the only way for things to be rectified properly um i know that you know people especially people of color because we're not naturally an evil people But we have been told and we have been trained to forgive people when they do bad things to us. We've been told to turn the other cheek. We've been told um, that the meek shall inherit the earth. We've been told that um, we've been told that um, what else have we been told? Um, that our enemies will one day become our footstool, and we've been told. Um, Just to love your enemies. You know, love your enemies and forgive people. Just forgive, forgive, forgive. No matter how bad someone does you, forgive them. And what I want to say is, as a, a revolutionary-minded person, as a person who has seen people do wrong things and, and, and get treated well for doing wrong things, for being deceitful, for being liars, for being murderers, um, that no, 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 I don't agree with any of those things. I do feel, um, you know, I'll say I agree with, um, that the scripture that says there's a time to kill. There's a time to, uh, there's a time for everything opposite of that. And there are times where, um, you know, I just feel like the majority of the time when somebody does something wrong to you, it is appropriate to give an equal reaction, an equal and opposite reaction. Um, so someone harming me, to me, the opposite of that is not loving them. The opposite of that is me returning the favor. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Is that not also a part of the scripture? So if someone treats you poorly, Treat them poorly. Like, I don't, I've never, that's something that I never was able to understand. I never was able to understand, you know, oh, I'm going to go inside this restaurant and let white people spit on me. And I'm going to let that be um, my form of activism. Like, why would you let someone harm you and let them get away with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I never, I, I just don't get it. And I don't, I don't, I don't condone it. You know, because in my life, if somebody does something wrong to me, oh, something is going to happen to them. Something, it's going to go down. It's going to go down. And, you know, I have my ways about how that's going to happen. But I'm not going to allow someone to harm me and get away with it. I'm not going to let someone harm someone that I love or something that something that I or affect something that's near me. And then they get away with it. No. No not at all and you know I've, I've even heard people say you know that they are disgusted with some of these parents that have gotten on tv these parents and I know whoever was over whoever got on the media regarding that church that was um that guy came in and shot all those people that they were just flat out disgusted with the people who got on tv and were like well the lord told us to forgive them like huh you know, these people have killed your children or they came in your church and played nice and then shut up the entire church. And all you can say on TV is, we forgive them. As much as, as much as people like to say, oh, you're strong if you forgive, you're strong, you're strong. Um, 
I'm sorry. It's it's weak to me. It's weak to let somebody get away with hurting you, especially if you are the type of person who, or you're, or you're the type, or, you, or, or a person forgives someone and allows that person a chance to harm them again. That's even worse. Um, I think it's okay to forgive yourself for something that you did wrong, but no, nah, fuck that forgiving shit, you know, and, 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 you know, I heard somebody say recently, have you ever seen a Jew that forgave Hitler? No, you haven't, because it was some bullshit what happened to those people. And just like slavery was some bullshit that happened to us, so why should we be forgiving, especially when we're still being treated poorly now? Forgiveness? I, I'm, that's the furthest thing from, I can't even fathom forgiveness. It's ludicrous to me. I mean, and and for you to forgive someone who continuously harms you, what that sounds like to me is that it, you're in a, a cycle of an abusive relationship and you just keep allowing it to happen. It sounds like psychological damage to me. It sounds like mental illness. And that you would allow somebody to continue harming you and you won't do anything about it. There's no retaliation. There's no whatever. So I know a lot of people have called me mean because I treat people the way they treat me. So if somebody treats me poorly, I'm going to treat them back poorly. If someone tries to harm me, I'm going to harm them. I'm not going to try. I'm going to harm them. If someone, um, and, I, and, I, and I don't feel like I'm not going to feel bad because that's self-defense. You know what I'm saying? Just, I mean, I, and I, you can look at it at a, in a physical way or a non-physical way, but if somebody punches me, you really think I'm about to turn my head and let somebody hit me again? I'm going to lay down on the ground and be like, oh, just beat me up. No, that is weak. I'm going to, I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to make sure that I'm preserving myself. And I guess that's part of why this was taught to the slaves is, don't preserve yourself. Allow us to treat you however we want to treat you because you're property and we own you. Okay? It's it's just it's just it's it's teaching low self value to keep allowing someone to harm you. It's ridiculous. It's weak. It's docile. It's 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 disgusting, if you ask in my personal opinion. You know, to allow somebody to keep harming you and I know people have called me mean several times because I just keep shit 1,000. Like, I just keep it real. I, I don't sugarcoat stuff. And I know I've said stuff, you know, before. People are like, oh, that's mean. That's not mean. It's the truth. You know, there are some things that I say that are opinion. But there are some things that I say that are facts. And it's not being mean. If I tell you that there was no letter J before the year 1500 and you're a worshiper of Jesus, then... I'm not being mean to you. I'm stating a historical fact. If it upsets you that you've been worshiping somebody with a made-up name, you, there's no reason to be mad at me. I'm not being mean. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sharing facts. Um. Yeah. So I don't. I don't understand how that's being mean. Um. I mean, and and I I had recently said like. You know, the people who did, who, the people who, uh, my ancestors who were present for the, for the Haitian Revolution. People are like, wow, that's radical, that's crazy. The, how is that crazy and radical? That was an, re, that's retaliation. That's divine revenge. It was deserved. These people are being raped. They're being beaten. They're being put to work against their will. And they're not even being compensated. And these people decide, you know what? We've had enough of the abuse. We're going to go back to our sacred religion of voodoo. We're going to do a ritual to our ancient gods. And we're going to war with these people. And... Some people died. But do you think that slaves didn't die? Did you think that there weren't babies killed during slavery? Um, women raped? Women women and men killed? Hung from trees? How is it radical 
that they just gave them what they had gotten. Like to me, that's to me, it's really truly like no big deal. Like I'm like, okay, they killed them. They were being killed too. And they were being raped. And they were being beaten. And they were being oppressed. And they were being forced to work. And you mean to tell me that it's a radical thing that they chose to fight back? No, it's just revenge. It's what was deserved. Nothing, it's not a big deal about that. It's like if somebody slaps you and then you slap their ass back, especially if you didn't start the shit, it's not that big of a deal to me. You know, that person... Like to me, when people do when people do mean things to other people, and the person that is what can be considered the victim, the person that didn't ask for that kind of behavior or didn't didn't do anything, you know, to be treated like that, and the person retaliates and you know and stuff happens, and people are I I, I always shrug because I feel like that person asked for it. You absolutely asked for your ass to get beat, like you asked for that. You know, that's that's how I that's how I think. So maybe I am mean because I don't let people walk over me. And that's one thing that I've seen in my family. My family is Christian, and they're all about forgiving and letting stuff slide. And a lot of these the women in my family have been used to death. They have been used and abused and used and abused. And um, I was always just like, y'all let motherfuckers get away with too much. I've always thought that. And they've always thought, you know, you're just so, you know, unruly and you're just so feisty and you're just so, you know, stubborn. And I'm just like, no, I just don't let people fuck me over. And then I sit there and, you know, you know, oh, it's going to be okay because no, I'm going to get your ass back. You know what I'm saying? I, I just never have understood that. That I've just never, I never understood that. I really do feel like people have been brainwashed into thinking that forgiving is a strong thing. I'm telling you, like people have been brainwashed into believing that that anything that'll keep you oppressed, it will praise that. So that's why I think forgiveness is praised so much because you're not going to do shit. Oh, just forgive, just forgive the person that killed your kids. Because you know what that means? You ain't going to do shit. That's what that means. And it just makes, I'm telling you, when these, when these people get on TV and they say that they forgive these people, I'm telling you, the KKK and these other white supremacists are sitting back laughing over beers. Got them again. They ain't going to do shit. Because they know that you're not going to do shit because you're forgiving them. They know that there's no revenge coming. So, that's my rant on that. I just think that that's just, I think forgiveness is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Forg- no, not, not when you purposely did something to harm me. No, I'm not going to forgive you. I'm going to fuck you up. I just don't understand why people think they can do things to harm other people and that they're not supposed to receive any kind of punishment. No, I'll play it. Not over here. Not at all. Um, but that's my rant about that. I'll see you guys um, next time. I think I'm going to do another video tonight. All right, bye.